What's up guys? I might be solving a problem that really nobody else has, but I guess just in case if anyone, if there's not a video on this on the internet already and if anyone needs it. Uh, RX-8 starter and RX-7 starter. This one is the I'll plug the exact model right here. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically popped her uh, a RX-7 form right up. Pull these two off, which are 8 millimeter long bolts off of the RX-8 starter, which is what you're going to disassemble to swap the nose onto this. Uh, so pull those two eight mils off, leave these on, because this will pop that off, and if that pops off, then you have the brushes, and if they come out, it's a whole thing. So just those two bolts. Pull those off, then there's two screwdriver bolts here. He recommended having a uh, impact screwdriver to get those out. I got them out pretty easy with this thing, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be the problem. So I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Maybe I'll buy an impact screwdriver. But yep, yeah, that's where we're at. Once you do that, we'll pull these off. All right, so after that, I just this kind of just pulled apart. This goes in here. This was around that when it was in there. Oh, I'm sorry. This went like that. Note the orientation of how that is when we cut and take that out. But uh, this went inside of there. And then that went there. Oh, fuck. Well, that's one thing you're supposed to not do. Um, never lose this ball bearing. Um, Alright guys, so I've got the FD starter, or sorry, the RX-8 starter disassembled. So yeah, we can't use this because this is just, I think, side by side, just here, missing a notch. Yeah, it's missing a notch right there, so it doesn't fit on it. So you can see right there, that's the difference. Um, so you can't use that. So basically, now we're taking the guts from the RX-8 starter that literally just pulled right out. And I'm just going to put it back in just as it is. Someone online took these off for some reason. I don't think I have to. Set that ball bearing aside. This is the motor. This is where power goes to. That's going to go back on here. Uh, and let's swap them out. All right. This is definitely where the uh, impact screwdriver will come into play. I'm, I'm really not trying to strip those. So um, I'm going to pause. We'll come back to it when I finish or when I get the stuff. Later on that night, after coming back from working on the IS, I'm so motor's gonna go back in. We got AC to, or stuff to charge the AC, so she'll be back. Only thing I'm working on the uh, FD now, and uh, in the garage out here, did the uh, I'm just painting the brakes right now because I can't stay in the red. This will be better. Also cleaning up just in here. If we sell in the front mount, we're gonna go V mount. I'm getting. I'm getting bit and ready to, ready to go hard on this thing. But yeah, I made a bracket for this yesterday. Just about waiting for the glue to come in. But yeah, gonna keep going. All right, back at it here at the car again. Um, it is the next day. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to work on the IS today. So we're just gonna finish up the uh, RX-7 work. Tomorrow we will dyno it, get it running. So that'll be in the next week's video. But uh, something's in my eye. So out here, we paint, I painted the brakes last night. We're actually painting the... Uh, having a buddy going to Dylan's house, I and mean, he's gonna paint the underside of this hood because I can't stand looking at it anymore. Um, another little thing that I am doing is I made a little bracket at work for some scraps um, for this. So as you can see there, that's broken. So I went ahead and I made this little bracket to replace it so I can fix this bumper fitment. So I'm using a seam weld to cinch it down, so should be good. It'll help. So yeah, that's another thing. And then I got, um, I did strip a screw on the uh, starter. So I uh, I got an extraction kit. So let's, we'll, I'll show that next. All right, so this is the first time I've ever used an extractor set. And I'm a lot. I was impatient. I wanted to just go for these deals. Um, but I, so I first tried that. It was too big. So I went into a smaller bit down there. Um, but check that out. Pulled right out. Just drilled a bunch of holes in it, and then deep enough that this thing can get in, drilled it right out. So now that that's apart, I can take keep taking this apart, so I'll uh, update when I have this apart and start going into the next one. All right, so I have taken the guts from the old one, which was like that, but that, that's the old one, and put it in the... I've taken the guts from the new one and put it in the old housing. Oh, shit. Oh, no, okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, good. So now that that's in there, this is the old housing because this is... this this. Will actually fit in the FD. The RX-8 starter won't fit. You just take the guts and put it in here. So now that that's in there, I'm gonna take this. This goes in between thread. In between there is a fat end. Pretty much just goes hooks on and then in. Perfect. And then this will go on into here. 
and then the gasket goes on in there. So I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, so that was actually like pretty dang easy. Uh, I put together the new one with the old parts just to consolidate the parts as well. But so this is the new, old new starter, old starter with all the new guts. Um, when you're putting it together, put the actual screws in first so you can line up the holes. There's a gasket, just make sure that the holes line up with the two screws holes on the inside. Um, I mean, it's, it's once, if you have gotten this far, you can do it. It's really easy. Um, just, when you're putting it in, like pay attention to the underside, like where that goes, but like you can hold it up. I just honestly held it up straight like that and just fed it in and tightened each side little by little until it was good. Make sure not to undo these screws. And that was a really, honestly, if I didn't strip a bolt, that would have been a hour swap, maybe not even. So now I'm gonna put that in the car and see how it runs. All right, this place is a mess, but um, I want to be done. I'm about to edit this video now, so let's just see if uh, it works. And then I'm gonna clean up the other side. There's oil back in it. We should be good to go. So let's see if this started the trick. Oh, let's go. That's perfect. We're back in business, baby. Starter is good. Let's go. All right. Let the car run for like 30 seconds. Let the oil run through it because we got new oil. But yeah, we're back. That's exciting. New starter. That took a lot of annoyance, but yeah, she's back in. You know how it goes. Uh, like, subscribe. Next week, we'll have the uh, IS right here as well. Whoop, whoop.